Okay, hi. We're finally on to dyeing. This is what it looked like before I brush it out. We're on to the dyeing part. My my hair sounds like hey. Whoa. Okay. So I think low key this. I kind of really like, so I think I'm going to just put this in a ponytail and not and not dye it. I kind of like it. I don't know if it would stay when I take a shower, but like a little blonde fucking piece of hair. It's so cute and perfect. My other side of my hair does not look like that. It's kind of curled and I think this one would be cute anyway. So, yeah. We're done with this. I'm going to wait and shower, then bleach my eyebrows, then we will be like done it. I'm going to do my bangs first. I feel like we're gonna have like siren hair because like I feel like it like purple and blue together and it's like sireny but this is like a dark blue and I mean, this is a dark purple, I feel like, and and also the blue is a turquoise, so it's like sireny, I feel like, and you know what, I want to go for that, so if you don't think it's sireny, I don't care. <laughs> Cause sirens are like so powerful and beautiful, you know? So like, maybe I just want to be a fucking siren. Are you gonna hate me for wanting to be a siren? I don't care. By the way, if you guys don't have Netflix, I totally say get it. And you guys need to watch Ginny and Georgia. It literally is so 
good. I keep on seeing TikToks of it because for some reason TikTok knows that I watched it and I already finished it too. I watched it with my mom and people keep on hitting on it, but it's so good. And season three is supposed to come out in March, which is actually my mom and my dog's birthday. My mom and my dog share a birthday because we got happy around the time it was my mom's birthday. Ow. Birthday. <laughs> Anyways. Someone's calling me. I don't care. Me and my mom hate when people call. And I love that we just share that together. Like hating that when people call us. Listen to me. Never call. Text. Okay? And I'm hoping that this looks good with the pinkish red that's here. Because I didn't know well, I wanted to bleach it, but in the end, I kind of just didn't. Because I'm also really curious to see what, like, color it's going to come out as. Because it was red, but then it, well, faded to, like, this pink kind of color. It feels really nice to not have this on me anymore. I feel like since this has red on it, it should be it should be purple. Oh, let me smell. It smells good. Well, I'll give it a five. This is what it looks like. It looks good. It does look more dark, I feel like, on camera. But in real life, it's purple. And so far, I'm going to give it a good rating. Because I don't know. What if you want to dye your hair? Also, today, I saw this TikTok and this girl, she died at 16. She got killed at a park. For being transgender, are you kidding me? Two teenagers killed her for being trans. You never know when you're gonna die. And there are psychotic people out there that will kill you or hurt you or stalk you just for being who you are. Or for some other reason, maybe. Dye your hair. You never know when you're gonna die. Just dye it, okay? Just please take my advice. Mama! Should this right here be purple or turquoise? Like, it has a little bit of red in it, so it means it could have been a part of my bang. But what do you think? So I should call it purple? Okay. Thank you! Okay, we're calling this part purple. The thing I hate about hair dye, though, is that it gets on my hands because I just want to wipe it on a towel, and then I do, and then my mom gets mad at me. I'm not doing that today, though. Let's get a roll of tissue real quick. Also, my Amazon link is in my bio on Instagram. Uno angry one too. Please buy me toilet paper. I need more. Heart. <laughs> okay. 
So this is supposed to be a part of my bangs and I'm just gonna leave it blonde, like all of it. So I think right here can be done. And right here I'm gonna color, I'm gonna color this little part purple. I feel like we can do turquoise now. So, I'm very excited to just be done with my hair. I have some leftover turquoise here, so I'm just gonna use that this up. Also, happy almost Valentine's Day. I'm recording this on the 13th, so it's not Valentine's Day yet. From where I'm at. But, yeah, happy almost Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, don't just remember that Valentine's Day does not have to be all about being in a relationship. Your Valentine's Day can be yourself, your parent, um... I don't know, things like that. Personally, I don't have a Valentine's Day. I'm single. I need a mango. Um, but my Valentine's Day is myself. I got myself a lot of cute shit for Valentine's Day. So that's pretty exciting. By the way, buy yourself gifts. Like, I don't, I feel like it's sad that I have to tell you guys this. But you guys should buy yourself presents for Valentine's Day. And for every holiday at that matter. I used to not, oop. I used to not buy myself things for Valentine's Day. Or for any other holiday at that matter. And then I started and I never looked back. I love buying myself gifts and things like that. For holidays. For, hello. Love yourself, bitch, and treat yourself. And buy yourself some cute ass shit. I'm probably going out tomorrow though, so that's when I would be posting this video, which tomorrow I think is Valentine's Day, so party I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't actually feel sad for not having a Valentine either. Like I know I just said it's myself, but like. I mean, it's okay to not have a valentine. Like, we don't need to just be in love and find our soulmates and shit. That's just, takes time and effort and work. And I mean, we don't find them in the end.
fat. We gotta use the other one now. The other container. about Ramonda's hair dye is that look at this it's so big I can't it's it hurts to open that's my only complaint is that it needs to be way like they need to make these easier to open I hope this is satisfying for you. You know, this is the longest I've had a hair dye. I usually dye my hair every two months. A whole different color. I feel like that it might be because my grandpa just died recently and I saw him in the hospital and I don't know if he knew it was me but when he was in the hospital before he died, I dyed my hair turquoise and red. And I saw him and I mean, he looked at me and I'm pretty sure he 
new. It was me. And I think it's just because, like, this is the last hair color he saw me in. He always liked me dyeing my hair and wondering what was going on in my head about my colors. I don't know, I feel weird because this is going to be the first time, like, dyeing my hair. This is going to be the first time he doesn't see a color that I have, you know? And I think that's just weird. Because I always liked what he had to say about it and the process of it or when I was on his way and he had to pee, like, I don't know, like, I miss my grandpa. It's been okay without him, but I mean, I don't know. part about dyeing my hair is dyeing the back. The only good thing is that I work out so my arm doesn't feel insanely tired. You know? Like I'm used to this. I'm a bodybuilder. I mean, I'm gonna just close in my hand so far. Where's the... There it is. I'm gonna just scoop up my guys. <sighs> okay. We have a dyed carpet. Lovely. Mom, if you're watching this, it's not my fault. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I don't want this to stay. And I know that is. I kind of like the random ass blonde spot, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I think it's silly, goofy, and fun. Silly, goofy, and fun. Yeah, silly, goofy, and fun. Silly. I'm 
It has been a 23 minutes. It's looking good. Wow, well, can I say? I'm done. I seem done and ready now to let it soak in. Okay. Um, 
the next one see of me, I think is going to be when I'm fully done. Maybe. Because I'm probably not going to be doing the stamp, the um, temporary tattoo thing today. I think I might be doing that tomorrow. Because it's getting kind of late. And I still have to shower. my eyebrows today just to get it done and over with so yeah time to retreat this tissue again 